Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Bossy Me. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? want to go ahead and say congratulations to the new junior middleweight champion of the world, Jared Hurd. He got a late knockout, and it was a James Tony, Michael Nunn type of performance. For those of you guys who go back that far, you probably remember James Tony. He was getting outboxed. He had an opponent that was constantly moving and winning the majority of the rounds, and James Tony pulled it out late. And he ended up stopping uh, Michael Nunn while he was trailing behind on the scorecards. Um, you know, I predicted that Gerald Hurd would win this fight. Or I should say Jarrett, not Gerald. But I predicted that Jarrett would win this fight. But he didn't perform as well as I thought he would. Clearly, the foot movement gave him problems. And I'll tell you, the reason why I have this picture up right here where you see uh, Jarrett Hurd in the Philly shell, that shoulder roll um, stance, I don't believe that that's a good stance to use when you're applying pressure on an opponent. That stance is for counterpunching. You know, when someone is coming after you, not suggesting that you have to be moving away, but it's more effective when a person is attacking you, not when you're trying to chase a person down. And that's, I believe, when you're chasing someone down. And we've seen Floyd Mayweather implement this in a lot of fights where he will use the high guard when he's facing another fast opponent someone who's moving in the ring. We often see Floyd Mayweather switch to the high guard as opposed to using the Philly shell. As I'm talking to you guys right now, and I'm actually watching the main event, Deontay Wilder versus um, Gerald Washington. And I tell you guys right now, man, I wish I would have put some money on this fight. Like my partner, uh, my man, um, shout out to uh, Rafael Ramirez. Um, he trains my son, but uh, he bets on all these fights and he put $100 down on this fight. A hundred dollars gets you a thousand bucks on this fight. So you don't really lose anything if you bet a hundred bucks on this fight. And right now, as I'm watching, it is extremely, extremely competitive. And you can tell that this fight is only one punch away from somebody getting knocked out. It's a very intense chess match right now. But we'll talk more about this, about that fight after um, I upload this video and after we get the results. But anyway, um, back to Jared Hurd, man. Yeah, you know. I feel that the, the, the foot movement, it definitely gave him problems. And like I just mentioned before, I don't believe using the shoulder roll, the Philly shell stance, is a good stance to use when you're chasing after an opponent. And that's the reason why Jarrett was constantly getting hit with jabs and lead left hooks when he came in with that shoulder roll. Now, later on in the fight, Jarrett heard he finally adjusted and he started to come in with the high guard, as you see in this picture I have up right now. So that, that's when he knocked him out with a lead right hand. And basically, uh, Tony Harrison, he got up and the referee was counting. And while the referee was counting, all of a sudden, Harrison just deliberately spit his mouthpiece out. And the referee, he took that as an indication that Tony Harrison didn't want to fight anymore. And the fact that Tony Harrison really didn't complain, he didn't put up a fuss, he didn't say, I didn't want the fight stopped. That pretty much suggested that he was he was done. So congratulations to Jared Hurd. I would say that was somewhat of a C-level performance. There are some serious monsters at 154, and I truly believe Erickson Lubin, he may be, outside of Demetrius Andrade, Erickson Lubin, he may be like the Errol Spence of the 154 pound division, but we'll see. That's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, I'm Rihanna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs>